Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Hey guys, welcome back to another MSF News. It is Sunday, April 26, 2020. So, another week, another controversy. So, we've had a uh, you know, controversy with one of the um, uh, daily challenges. Um, we got the Nexus, uh, Nexus 8 campaign came. Uh, we got more as Guardian or Inhumans becoming farmable. But uh, let's just start from the beginning here. Okay, we got notification for Corvus Glaive coming. And here it says, uh, Black Order Stealthy Brawler joining the fight. Corvus Glaive destroys worlds with his brutal skill set. Brawler for the Black Order, Proxima Midnight, always assists our basic. Special attack ignores taunt and stealth. Stealth when he or enemies have low health. Grant Thanos the Mind Stone and defense up. Uh, he's going to be coming April 30th. And will of course be a Blitz. And will be featured in the Red Star Orbs. Okay, and uh, it's like the uh, Gamma Orbs, Raid Orbs are going to be leaving the store. So if you haven't already cashed those in. Uh, we had the Gamma Strike Raid start. Uh, this time featuring City Brawlers and Protectors. Okay, and we got the update to the Red Star rework. Um, I mentioned a couple weeks ago the issue with them changing the price for converting the Elite credits to promotion credits. Um, April 21st, they changed that uh, back to the normal prices. Um, let's be on the 26th. That's only one for 24 hours, so that already happened. And the next day, we got our uh, promotion credit login calendar, which is still ongoing. Uh, we have a uh, Facebook poll for the next Shield Minion Blitz. Obviously, it's a Medic, Operative, Security, Assault, and Trooper. So, you can look forward to them coming if you haven't seven-starred uh, that team already. And then we got the Marvel Strike Force Awards. Um... Just uh, if you uh, voted in that that message they sent uh, like a week or two ago, um, you just basically got a premium orb for doing it. So none spectacular. And we got the Nature's Gift, which you can lump this in with that uh, controversy as well. Uh, basically for one week, they're... Um, giving out bonus promotion credits for the, uh, third, fourth, and fifth, uh, reward levels for, on the donation screen. Um, and basically to get the highest level, you would have to, don't, everyone in your alliance would have to donate 500 cores so I don't know how many people are actually doing that. But if you're just doing the 10,000 gold and you're getting to that third box, you know, you're still getting a nice chunk of uh, silver promotion tokens. Uh, there was a raid issue resolved that I, I didn't experience that. So 
And they never really say what exactly the issues were. Okay, and we had uh, the Nexus 8 campaign drop. Uh, to get into Nexus uh, campaign, uh, my brother found this out the hard way. Uh, you have to complete uh, Villain 7 1, even if you've already completed all the Nexus campaign. And the uh, highlights of that are on 8 6, you can farm Karnak, and you can get Thanos on 8 9. Um, so Karnak was also moved to the orbs, the Ultimus, Basic, uh, Premium, and Mega, along with the Supply section. Now, Yo-Yo Let's see, uh, now Thanos was taken out of, uh, it was previously a, an exclusive premium orb, but now he's been replaced by Yo-Yo, and these, uh, premium orb exclusive characters are going to be at a fixed 2% drop rate. So no matter how many characters are added, they're still 2%, but at the same time, it's 2%, so it's not, uh, not going to be easy to get her. Uh, for the nodes on Nexus 8, uh, 1 through 3 is any team, no restrictions. Uh, node 4 through 6 is any combination of Guardians, Asgardians, or Inhumans. And 7 through 9 is any combination of S.H.I.E.L.D., X-Men, or Brotherhood. And we got Black Bolt coming on the... Well, tomorrow, actually. Uh, we got a login calendar going for the Asgardians right now. Uh, of course, they're going to be selling offers. And they've uh, put the Wrath of the Gods orbs back up. So you can get them out of there too. And right here is about uh, just about Yo Yo going into the Premium Orb exclusive. Not a fan of that. Now here's the uh, controversy I referred to at the beginning. Uh, says, we have resolved a technical issue impacting Ability Enhancement Challenge Tiers 11 and 12, where enemy base stats were lower than intended. As this has reduced the difficulty, in the near future we will be implementing a rollback to players who are unintentionally able to bypass the difficulty of the, of the higher tiers after the 7 Red Star rework. For those that completed challenges tier, challenge tiers 11 and 12 prior to the Red Star rework changes, your progress will not be affected. To ensure that this doesn't create an imbalance for certain players, we will be sending all players that didn't advance to tiers 11 and 12 a number of ability materials that were available at those higher tiers at a later date. So... You know, saying that we were able to bypass the difficulty um, makes it sound like it's something that we did on our end. I don't, I don't like that wording, but uh, the point is they made a mistake and we benefited from it. So now they're jumping on trying to fix it and rolling our progress back. When there are issues that are detrimental to us, like, you know, the people that are using blitz spots, for example, driving up these insane scores, not concerned about that, but something happens to benefit us players, it's, they seem to be right on top of that. Um, I mean, I'm sure that's not how it is, but it just sets kind of how it feels. Um, 
I, I don't like the fact that they're rolling it back. I not only not just because of the fact that you know I was one of the people that was able to benefit from this, but they had a major bug about a month, month and a half ago, where the enemy Greg was, or I'm sorry, the enemy Captain Marvel would constantly attack your Greg if you went in with Hella. And obviously that makes things a lot easier because not only is she doing that big ultimate on Greg and wiping him out instead of one of your more valuable characters, but every time she kills him, it's also rolling back their turn meter. So they fixed that and that was fine. But they didn't roll anyone's progress back for that. So I see this as the same kind of thing. So why should our progress be rolled back and not the people that have that took advantage of the bug with Captain Marvel? So I just don't think that was a good call on their part. Uh, we got the Venom Blitz going on right now. And uh, saying that the Nature's Gift event went live. And I'll get back to the blog here in a second. But we got Chaos Theory coming up. Here and... This will actually... Be starting next Saturday. Ah, it doesn't say in there. Well, I was pretty sure it gave a date for it. All right, uh, I got changes to the Alliance War rewards. Uh, there's this is a in an effort to. Stop the shelling that's been going on. Uh, it says, for the next war season, season, we've implemented a few changes, including moving Tier 4 ability materials from the top, se top season rank rewards and into gold, platinum, and diamond league rewards. Increase the amount of war credits and elite war credits rewarded for losses based on community feedback. Additionally... After the next major client release, the first subsequent war season will have the following changes. Adjust the way scores are calculated by reducing weight on total collection power and increasing weight on wins through score multiplier. We'll also be closely monitoring these changes to ensure that they create a more healthy and competitive environment for Alliance War. I certainly hope so, because this business with the Shallon is just getting ridiculous. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so Chaos Series starts in five days and two hours. Okay, so... So that should be starting Saturday, and that will finally... Uh, put us on track for the schedule for the Flash events. Yeah, okay, now let's get to this blog here. This was, of course, uh, Friday's blog. Alright, we have Chaos Theory. Greetings, Commanders. We're rolling out the red carpet this week for the premiere of our new Red Star Flash event that's accompanying the recent Red Star rework. We've also got a slew of blitzes for anyone looking to add gear to their squads or an Infinity Stone as Thanos' gauntlet. Let's dive in. Chaos Theory. The debut of our newest Flash event, Chaos Theory, is here. Assemble your Requant 
Wakandan. Yeah. <laughs> Assemble your Wakandan team and lead them through the tier through tiers to earn silver and gold promotion credits. You'll need at least four Wakandans to enter tiers one through three, and the star requirement increases by one for each tier. For tiers four through seven, a complete five Wakandan team is required. Here's the breakdown of the rewards you can earn. So what's going to be important here is the first time rewards. Because uh, we're only going to be able, apparently, to do the first three tiers uh, the first time around. So that's going to be 50 silver promotion credits uh, just for in first time rewards. And... For completing them, get another six. So you'll have 56 uh, silver promotion credits for the first time. Uh, when it comes back in May, you'll be able to do the next three. And that will be another 75 silver and 60 gold. And plus the... The normal rewards for that. But in June, be able to come back for tier 7, you're going to get 75 silver, 40 gold, and 18 silver and 7 gold times 3. So, that's not too bad. Uh, Arena Store Edition... The arena store is getting a taste of the elements with its newest addition, Crystal. Uh, be sure to grab your character shards, take your inhuman team to the next level with this royal blaster. Yeah, we're uh, pretty much going to be forced to get uh, Crystal and Karnak. Because uh, Yo-Yo, she's not reliably farmable. And you're going to need, you're gonna need uh, the rest of those inhumans. To get Ebony Ma, so. But the arena store, not too upset about that. Uh, Backstab Blitz. The quest to build Thanos' deadly Black Order team continues this week with the Blackstab. Backstab Blitz. Featuring Corvus Glaive. A complete Black Order team grants Thanos all six Infinity Stones and empowers Thanos with new abilities. Blitz your way to character shards for the Black Order Stealthy Brawler and build the next inevitable dom dominant force. Okay, now this here, um, I'm not a fan of this. This is this week we have four special four separate blitzes that each feature one hour cooldowns, meaning you won't have to utilize as blitz charges as often. The first two blitzes will reward gear. First orange, then purple the next day. Closing out with a one hour cooldown blitzes with a second running of the Red Star Rampage Blitz, level 42 and above, and blue gear. Be sure to get your share, share of gear and stars during these cool blitzes. Yeah, you don't have to utilize as many blitz charges, but you're going to have to basically blitz all day. Uh, I don't know. I don't like the one-hour cooldowns. I'm glad it's not for a character, though. Uh, I definitely think that the orange blitz and the red star blitz are going to have some pretty nuts scores. Okay, now live Nature's Gift. Don't forget that Nature's Gifts, our Earth, our Earth Day event, is going on now for Commanders at level 50 and above. For a limited time, Alliance donations earn additional rewards. Earn silver promotion credits and increase gold for your when your Alliance reaches reward boxes from 3 to 5. Working your way through all 5 boxes each day, 
and your alliance can earn 217 silver promotion credits, which is enough to upgrade a 5 red star character of your choice. Uh, bonus events. Prepare for the, your Wakandans for Chaos Theory with the upcoming Wakanda Nation bonus event. Earn double character shard rewards in all campaign nodes featuring Wakandans for a limited time. And if you're looking to make noise in Black Order's upcoming legendary event, Unite the Kingdom. I'm sorry, Black Bolts, not Black Order. Uh, you'll need a fully fortified squad of five Asgardians. Skip crossing the Rainbow Bridge in Asgard in favor of heading to the campaign nodes for four Asgardian bonus... For the four Asgard bonus event, where Asgardian character shard rewards will be doubled. Until next time, good luck, Commander. So... Um, you definitely want to get Black Bolt this time around. Because uh, you want to be able to have a chance at unlocking Ebony Maw when he comes back, which I believe they said was late May. So, well, we got our last thing here is our speculation uh, legendary calendar. Well, we know that Black Bolt is coming on the 27th. So from there, we'll have Shuri on May 11th. Uh, possibly Ebony Maw, I'm going to say on the 25th. Now, for June, it actually shows three legendaries. Um, again, this is all speculation. Um, I don't know the actual person that does the initial speculating on these, but it's got three three uh, legendaries. Got Magneto on June 3rd, Phoenix on June 8th, Star-Lord on June 22nd. And then we have Invisible Woman on July 6th, and Nick Fury on July 20th. So, and these uh, dates have already changed from last week. And they'll change again once we get the uh, official release date for Ebony Maw's legendary event. So I will open up some orbs. And call this a day. Premium Green Goblin. Of course, no yo yo. Let's see if we can. Oh, I'm on multiple orbs, aren't I? Yeah, that's right, because I want to open up all those basic orbs. But that's okay, because I got a bunch of milestone orbs I got to open here. Still no Captain Marvel. That's not good. Alright, a couple Ultimuses. Ghost Rider, nice. See, that's the problem I'm starting to have now, is I got a bunch of characters I can rank up, but just don't have the gold to do it. Alright, that give me enough for... Oh yeah, I give me enough for another orb. Kingpin. Alright. Yeah, I got a... See here, yeah, I can take Namor to 6. Take Shield Assault to 7. I can take Sif to 6. 
which that'll be dependent on if I can get Hella up to six stars. Uh, take Falcon to six. Heimdall I can take right from five to seven. Take Strife to six. Take Ghost Rider to six. And you know what? I'm going to actually do Proxima here. Seeing as I got that fourth red star on her. Alright guys, so that's uh, all I got for this week. So, next week we'll be looking forward to... Uh, uh, getting the Wakanan event and hopefully all you guys will have Black Bolt unlocked by then. Alright, until then, have a good week.